Hey guys, we are going to a trunk retreat today and I thought I would bring you guys along with us. So let's go do this thing. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My church is doing a trunk retreat today. It is October 30th, so this will be going up. I'm hoping to get it up on Monday, uh, but we got my little butterfly. I am wearing my skeleton shirt. Okay, thank you. Show the camera your butterfly wings. Beautiful. Are you all ready to go? And you got your pumpkin? Show them the other side. Wow. <laughs> this pumpkin was from Walmart for like 74 cents. <laughs> you love that pumpkin, huh? <laughs> the pumpkin scared me. <laughs> the pumpkin scared you? He was doing it this way. It can't tell me. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I am going to be bringing another bag because I don't think this will be big enough. I'm trying to hang it. You want to hang it on the button? <laughs> All right, well, she doesn't like her dirty shoes from going to the park last night. So I'm going to be cleaning these up and then we will be on our way. Well, with a little scrubbing and dish soap, this cleans are pretty nice. Now I'm going to go potty first. Okay, I'm going to beat you. So that is an update worth sharing about. Um, so like a while ago, oh man, for like a good probably couple months, I want to say now, she would let us know for number two, not really let us know for number one. Then we tried going commando and we had a bunch of accidents even if I was like asking her, asking her, asking her about the potty. So we decided to make a big deal about underwear and how we don't go pee pee in our underwear. And she had like two shameful accidents. Like I didn't try to really shame her, but she was like, she just felt so ashamed that she had an accident in her new underwear. And um, ever since then we have been pretty good like like with going to the bathroom and like she can do pretty much everything by herself. Um, I still put on a diaper during nap time and nighttime. Although if I like get her right when she wakes up from nap, usually she's dry. But at night, I think we still need a diaper. So I don't like this is my first kid. I don't really know what to expect. But if you guys have potty trained like and you're good for the day, like how long do they usually wear a diaper at night? Let me know in the comments. I'm still a little confused. I'm just kind of doing whatever she needs. Um, waiting this long made it a little bit easier on me. But I have like anxiety anytime we go out because I'm just like, what if she has to go? What if she has an accident? Like, I'm still anxious. It's not like she's, I mean, it's been like this one week of success. So... Well, let me go in, but that's our little potty training update. We've definitely got a cool feel up here. We live on a hill with my parents, so there's like obviously cloud coverage right now. Um, but it's like, looks like a smoke machine has gone off, but we're just in the middle of a cloud. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, just kind of floating by, but pretty cool. We just arrived. Aubrey, are you excited? Mm, yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad you are. Let's go ahead and put on your wings and then we're going to go trunk or treating. What are you going to say? Okay. Yeah. Oh, good job. Good manner, sweetie. Let's go. I have a feeling we'll get more than just candy here. She loves, loves, loves those pink flowers in the trees. They have seeds in them. She'll be collecting those. Oh, 
Are you excited? Mm -hmm. There's gonna be lots of special treats. Say thank you. <laughs> Say God made me this way. <laughs> Do you want popcorn or candy, Aubrey? Candy. Candy? Okay. Happy Halloween. You look pretty. <laughs> All that in your bucket? Okay, you can put that in your bucket and then you can put the baggie in here, okay? You can put that in there and mommy will hold it. Sweetie, we'll switch it around later. <laughs> okay, now what do you say? Say yes, please. Thank you. That's for mom. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I, I love the little like pumpkin on the skeleton. It's so cute. <laughs> So this deacon dressed up as St. Denis, which is the patron saint of our church. And in Paris, he was actually decapitated and walked for several miles while preaching a sermon on repentance. So that is what this little costume is all about. Your car is invisible? Yeah, uh, no parking. <laughs> Those are such cute little ghosts. <laughs> or do you want some candy? Like a big there is a big spider. Do you want chips? You want some Cheetos? You want candy? Oh my gosh. All right. We might be grab. If I can get my hand free, I'm going to just grab one of these for her. What do you say? Did you have fun? Yeah. Thank you. The dinosaur is awesome. You picked a berry? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, she got so much stuff. We're gonna check it all out in a little bit. You were able to get your wings off all by yourself. I'm really impressed. I'm not pretty wing. So this is our just in case, since we, we've been good so far, but you know, just in case. You got so many goodies, sweetie. We need to pray first. It was like if I did this with the Danny, what did you got? 
Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh my goodness. Yes, you can. Yes. All right, we got the first Halloween candy of this year. Pull it out. They're chewy. Chewy? Yeah, they're called Twizzlers. Yeah, and there's two. Yeah. Thanks. And there's two of them. You can break them apart and then you take a bite. Little bite. Savor it. Aww. <laughs> Is that yummy? What does it taste like? It's sweet. It's sweet. Okay. What do you say we go for a little drive? Say that again. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I shouldn't have turned off the camera. Second candy, nerds. This should hopefully last us a while. Do you like nerds? Oh. <laughs> They're spicy. They're sour? Mm -hmm. uh, not really. They just have a different flavor. Do you like them though? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. We're going to go on a drive. Okay? I love you. I love you. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think we got here like around 10-ish, a little after 10. It's 10.41. So we spent a good, you know, time here. There were lots of cars. This is the first trunk retreat I've ever been to. And I really like all of the decorations that people did. Um, <laughs> You, you like the decorations too? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we got lots of goodies. But anyways, since we still have plenty of time until her nap and she hasn't had anything to drink, I figure we can go drive and get some Duncan. that's a little bit further away, but I'm in the mood for it. I also don't really have plans to like really go trick-or-treating tomorrow. And this is like plenty for her. So whether or not our family does a big trick-or-treating you know, excursion, even if it's like two houses, you know, um, I think that'll be good for us. Aubrey, would you want to do this again sometime? <laughs> Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you want to do this next year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite part? I like ghosts. You like the ghosts? The little ones on that lady's car? Mm. Yeah. Kind of reminds her of the ones I think that we made in one of my previous videos, like the All Things Fall. We made a fun little ghost activity that like flies. So go ahead and check that out. Shameless plug. Um, that video I'm actually really proud of. And I share some recipes. I showed some decorations. And then we do that fun activity that she's referring to. But let's go and get some coffee. You've had a lot of treats so far, huh? You like your Laffy Taffy, huh? Yeah, she's had like Laffy Taffy's, Reese's, she's had a good variety of candies so far in this car ride, but I'm next in line and then we'll head home and look at the remaining candy. Okay, so we just got home. I'm going to be making some chicken nuggets for Aubrey and in the meantime, I'll probably be playing with her uh, using these little guys. I'd like to thank Malhai for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Malhai sent us this four pack of pullback dinosaur cars. They come in four colors and have shockproof springs and anti-skid rugged tires. The wheels are sturdy and strong, allowing kids to play on various floor types. They are also soft, so wood floors are protected. The dinosaur heads come separate from the base and easily attach to whichever color car you want. We received the cars a few days ago and were able to capture Aubrey's initial reaction to the toys, so let's go ahead and check that out. You found the orange head for the orange car. Good job. There it is. Should we go outside and play? Play! First, we have to get down the shoe, shoes on first. Okay. Okay? Okay, put your shoes on. Daddy, how do we do first? 
Marcus was with the weed the dinosaurs. You don't want to do that anymore. Where are the dinosaurs going to play? The other way. Uh oh, it's running away from you. One high over that. This one. This one won. Aubrey really loves the cars, and over the last few days, we've had a lot of fun playing with them. I will put the product's Amazon link down below in the description box if you would like to find out more information on the product or if you want to just get some for your kiddos. Again, I'd like to thank Malhai for sponsoring this portion of today's video and for providing us with lots of fun. Well, you guys, it figures. This morning, I'm bragging about her not having had any accidents like this whole week and she just had an accident. Um, I think the thing that I'm struggling with is I obviously like to get to the point where I don't have to ask her every hour or, you know, force her to go to the potty, like, you know, every so often. I would really like for her to be like, oh, I need to go potty and then, you know, at least tell me and I can help her or whatever. And so today, you know, I got her to go to the restroom before we left. And then when we got back, I did ask her if she needed to use the bathroom. She said no. And then I just kind of like left it at that. And while we're eating our chicken nuggets, she had an accident. So luckily for me, it was an easy cleanup, but I'm feeling a little bit more discouraged. I mean, obviously, you know, a week of me always asking her and then getting her to go and stuff like that has been working, but I want to know like at what point will I not have to ask anymore? Like at what point will she just recognize like, oh, I have this urge to use the restroom. Let's go to the bathroom. So I don't know. Tell me if you guys know about how long it took for your guys' kids to like recognize it and just like take care of it by themselves so that I maybe have a better idea of what to expect with Aubrey. But she knows that she made a bad choice and I told her she's not gonna get any more treats for today. Um, I have been using like M&Ms as a way to reward her for going potty on the potty. So, you know, we'll see how the rest of the day goes, but I will show you guys right here, like the pan of like all of the candy that she won't be enjoying today, but that she did get from the little trunk or treat. There was so much, everyone was so generous. And like I said in the car earlier, like if we even, even if we don't go trick or treating, this is gonna be more than enough for her and maybe for me and Juan to enjoy as well. I'd like to thank you guys for joining along on our little trunk or treat journey this afternoon, as well as hearing my little potty training updates. I mean, in some ways it's kind of nice that it's not just like all perfect and 
you know, maybe some mom out there is watching this and thinking like, ah, oh, you know, I'm never, never going to get this right. Well, I'm in the same boat as you. Please don't forget to leave any advice or words of encouragement down below in the comments. I'm sure not only myself, but other moms would really appreciate hearing from you guys about your potty training experiences with your little ones. Don't forget to check out those dinosaur car toys. They are awesome and we've had a lot of fun, especially yesterday. I wasn't able to film it because my hands were kind of full, but we had a lot of fun playing with the cars and I think that she really likes them. I think they'd make a really good gift coming up for the Christmas season. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.